Good morning everyone. Okay. Oh, it took me plot out of the way. Right, we're gonna I found a set of these. There was four of them in a box, and I think it was B and M I found them from. And they're body, body fragrances and there are four different flavours um smells. Um so I've already done boxes for three of them and I've picked a colour from the can to make a complimentary box from. So I'm going to show you how to do the last one now. So from a, a, side, a sheet of double sided paper, quite heavy weight. And again, this is going back to the B&M paper pads I picked up a few weeks ago. Um, sorry about bumping the camera. I just need to stand up now and check it hasn't moved too far. There we go. Right, so cut a piece of your paper measuring 21 by 15 centimetres. Then on the 15 centimetre line uh, side, sorry, you need to score at 1, 4.5, 8, 11.5. Okay, so that's going across there. I'll go through that again. 1, 4.5, 8 and 11.5 okay then turn it one quarter but turn it so that your if your paper is directional the first score line we're going to make is on the bottom so make sure your paper is facing the right way up okay so the first score line for the bottom of the box is 3.5 15.5 and 19 i'll do that one more 3.5, 15.5 and 19, okay. So fold and, and burnish all of those lines in and then turn it so it's the wrong side facing you. And I've already marked up which sections we're going to cut away, okay. So the first one I'm going to cut is this little tiny slim rectangle from the bottom here. Then I'm going to wedge so that... The glue and panel has a an indent in it. I'm going to wedge at the top again of the same glue and panel. Then I'm going to cut these top two squares away. And at the same time, I'm cutting away the scored line. Okay. Then we're going to go straight down at the top through the first score line because that is the fold-in part of your lid. Okay. So that one's done. Put that one out your way. Then cut the remaining three boxes roughly in half. Okay, like so. Then we are going to wedge each of these. Don't go mad with your wedges because two of them are what hold the flap inside the box or help to hold it. Okay, so three wedges there. Then turn it to the bottom and just cut straight through the centre of your score line up to the first score line. Okay, so that's where we are with the cutting. Then on this additional flap up here, very tiny little amount. I'll try and catch it to show you. A very tiny little wedge on either side. We, we can take more away later we can't add it back in and this is what holds the box closed okay so that's where we're up to now i'll leave that there a second till i get rid of the scrap there we go right you will also need a piece of acetate which measures 3.5 by 10 centimeters and that's going to form your window there okay and cut yourself a scrap of card that measures 2.5 by 9 centimetres because we're going to go old school and use that as a template to cut out the window for the acetate. Okay, so one tip I do have for you is this window needs to be looked. It needs to be in the centre of these two score lines either side, but it needs to be lower down in the, the box itself because this flap 
when tucked in will be visible otherwise so we need to drop that down and besides it's just a plain black cap above there so it's not pretty anyway so make sure you can see i've done several of these make sure you position this template low down to the bottom of the box but not so low that you can't get some tape in to stick your acetate down okay so i'll actually measure it for you so i'm going about two and a half just under two and a half centimeters from the top and a just over half a centimetre from the bottom okay so make sure your template's stuck well and you know this is the front because if that's the lid it makes sense that this is going to be the front to tuck into it okay I forgot to mention that bit okay so with your craft blade carefully go around your template use your template to put the blade up to I may need to change my blade soon. I can tell when my blade needs changing if it doesn't cut through the first time, but I can also tell when it has cut through because it, I use a glass cutting mat so you can hear it grinding. I still haven't decided if a glass cutting mat is better than the usual self healing mats when it comes to your blade the life of uh, but glass cutting mats have their purpose but when it comes to trying to hold things still then it's difficult that's the one downside of a glass cutting mat anyway so you've cut your aperture out if you don't have all of this like i have you could have a plain piece of card on the back and use it as some kind of tag to hang from your card or your box or for another card or whatever Right, I'm using two mil tape. I usually use three, but I've got two and that works just as well. And I'm going double sided tape, sorry, and I'm going all the way around the aperture. There you go. Now, I'd always advise you to burnish down your tape. This does two things. One, it bonds it to whatever it's stuck to. But two, it also helps you lift the carrier paper off. So I use the back of a, an old craft knife. And when I say the back, I mean the blunt side. And I simply slide it under once I've burnished the tape down. And it helps you pick up the carrier paper easy. More easily. Spending too much time on my own. Okay, so I've removed the carrier paper. I always leave the sticky note on my acetate so I can find it because it does tend to disappear on this work surface, on this mat. Okay, so what you're aiming for is not only to get it central but to cover the tape you've just laid down as well. Okay, then burnish it into position against your tape. I've given you a little bit extra at the top so that you've got somewhere to hold while you're trying to get it in the right position. So that's where we're up to now. So you've got your window in your box. Okay. Right. Nearly home. Now fold your glue and flap over. Put some glue on. Not keen on that pole so much as my old one. Just gonna wipe some of that glue off because the bottle I had filled last night is coming out too fast. Right, so bring up the other side and line up the scores, the score lines. Okay. Once you've done that. Lay it down on your work surface and just gently burnish that glue and flap to secure it. Okay, good. Still no glue on my acetate. Okay, so we have four full flaps for the bottom to give it more weight. Not that the can is heavy. Okay, so we fold 
the front flap in last always and this is because if we didn't you would see all the edges of the papers from the other glue and flaps okay whereas if we do it with that at the end all you've got is a nice fold line okay right so better um just pop your first side glue and tab in put glue on drop the other one over the top of it more glue drop the back one over the top of that and finally on your front glue and tab make sure all the edges have got glue and then fold that over because we're gonna spread the glue out from inside okay so hold your flaps out of the way and gently work the glue in with the end of your bone folder or a ruler and if you've got any raw edges that seem to be sticking out too much just with this end of your bone folder go to that edge and just tap it it's easy to do on the work surface but you won't be able to see what i'm doing you just tap in the inside of this fold line here and it lines it all up for you okay that's okay right so sorry you'll need a one inch circle punch 2.5 centimeters can't believe i said that in inches first time out because you've got to think what it is in inches right and on this front tab here we're going to glue that down to the inside we could have done it while it was still flat but i forgot and i picked up the wrong glue again just going to wipe some of that away again we're going to Go inside the box and with a bone folder just flatten that down inside of there this just gives it a bit of additional strength around the some hole we're going to punch okay then go right along this edge to make it a nice crisp edge now because the glue is still damp this punch is going to struggle but um we'll get there i should have done this while it was still closed as well never mind Want it sorted in the middle. Oh, went through first time. Nice one. Right. Deformed my box a bit, but hey ho. Right. So we are done. Oh. All we need now is to make sure that this lid, and because I've slightly torn that, it might not work, that this lid tucks in to there nicely and doesn't pop out. So you can turn your box upside down and shake it, but that lid isn't going to open. Okay, so there you go. Full set of four. So nice little presents. I did get some glue on the acetate. Okie okay, cookie. Bye.